All right, welcome back to another redstone tutorial. Today we're looking at clocks and a lot of clocks. There are so many different ways that you can build clocks in Minecraft. Whether you want something simple like what you see here in the back in the foreground, or maybe one of those bigger, more involved ones in the back if you need something that's really precisely timed, or Maybe even you just need a clock that only goes off when there's something in a dispenser. Well, we're going to look at them all today. This is going to be your guide to all the clocks you'll ever need in Minecraft. So let's jump in. All right, and to get started, we're going to start with just the simplest ones out of the box. They're not always the best, but let's jump into them. So the first one, we're just going to put a repeater facing that way and one facing the opposite. Some redstone on either side. And then this is the part that gets a little tricky. You have to place this redstone torch and break it super quick. Oh, didn't do it fast enough. That's what happens. Still didn't. Let's put a little delay in here and see if that helps us. So that's kind of the problem with this one is once you get it going, it's great, but you can never turn it off without breaking the redstone. So you see it took a minute to get there. So not always the best. You want to spend a little more resources there's one that we can go with a little bit easier so facing a repeater that way one that way that way that way so same kind of concept there but we've got a little bigger loop what's and what's gonna be nice there is that's not gonna work either so you can see these ones when you can get them going there you go just had to break that redstone and replace it real quick so you can see these work pretty well once you get them going. They can just be a little tricky sometimes. All right, the next one is going to be with observers. If you don't know, if you face an observer into itself, so one that way, and pointing here, it's going to give you a redstone signal out both sides of it. So that's going to be pretty cool if you ever need anything that goes out both sides, or maybe just out one side and you need it to be really quick. This one's going to be really handy in some of our other builds, so watch for these in just a minute. All right, and our next one's going to be based somewhat off of that first one, except for actually work quite a bit better. So we're going to put a repeater facing that way, one facing back this way, so it's opposite of what we did down there. But redstone here. Since this is pointing that way, we put a block here and a redstone torch. And you can see that makes a pretty cool clock pretty easy. Now you can slow this down a little if you want just by um, clicking on these guys. And what's nice about this is if you want to turn it off, you can. You just put a lever on, turn it on, and you can turn it right back off, on and off. Another one is using a comparator. We haven't used that just yet. But what you can do here is put a comparator down, set to subtract mode, a repeater coming out come to the other side and have a repeater going on the same side and then just redstone around again this is a good one because you can actually put your lever here and turn it on and off so it goes on and you can turn it back off so that's going to be really good the only thing you have to remember is this has to be in subtract mode so right click on it once to get it in that mode okay and the last of the simple ones we're going to make is going to use some blocks this time. We haven't really used the blocks too much. What we're going to do is create a Y pattern here. We're going to take a redstone torch, going to put a repeater, and if you don't put this repeater on a little bit different timing, it's going to burn out. So you'll see that this works. It'll just keep blinking, give you what you need. Now, if you don't change the repeater, I'll show you kind of what happens up here. So let's put it back to the way it originally is. You'll see it blink super fast and it burns it out is what they call it. So this will actually come back on as a little bit of a cool down time. So that might work in your favor if you want that to happen. But if you don't, just switch that and it'll just keep working. Okay, and I said that was the last one, but there's one other one. This is what's cool about redstone is there's so many easy clocks you can build. The next is simply taking a hopper, which I'm going to put a uh, block here for a second. Point this hopper into that. And you can see I have a texture pack that lets me know it's shooting that way. 
and one shooting right back in. Now this gets really easy because all you need to do is put a block in there and put some redstone dust out with a comparator and that's going to read that signal. Now it's kind of weak so you might need to put a repeater on there to really get a full good strength out of there. But that is your simple easy clocks. Now those are great, but maybe the timing isn't exactly what you want and you want something that's a little more refined and a little more precise in what you want to do. So we're going to go with an old with an old standard here. So let me get out a few blocks that we're going to need and we'll build it right here. OK, so this one you may have heard before. It's called the Etho Hopper Clock. I don't know if he's the one to invent it, but he at least got all the credit for it. So we're going to go with it. But did you know you can build it in two different ways? So let me show you how it's done. So I'm going to start by putting a block. And we're going to do our facing hoppers like we already did. This time we're going to put a redstone compete repeater out both sides. A block after that. A redstone dust next to it. A sticky piston facing this way. Sticky piston facing that way. A redstone block and the easy part I'm gonna split this down so it goes a little quicker but you just put those in and you'll see that after a second it shoots it right out now what you can do is figure out how you want to do this you could do a line out this way that keeps it on and then when it goes back it turns off and what's cool about this is you could take those out and make it a lot quicker. And even make it even quicker if you want. So it can be as short or as long as you want. So you can see it's turning it on pretty quick. So that's the benefit of this one is you get a lot more accuracy with how long you want this to stay on and turn off. Now I said there was two ways of doing this and I'll show you the other one here. So. I'm going to build it from that end this way. So we'll put the block compared to reaching into it. We'll put down our hoppers facing each other. Compared her out this way. That block. Put a piece of redstone dust on top of each of these. And now, instead of putting the pistons on the side, we're going to put the pistons facing us. So just hit it off of that redstone. Put your block in here, and then we will put these blocks in here, and there you go. So exactly the same way, one's just vertical, one's horizontal. So whichever one works better in your space, the main benefit of this one is you can actually tile it. So in some of our previous redstone tutorials, you saw that we like to tile things side to side. That's the cool thing with this. Those are great if you want things on and off. But a lot of times we want a clock to dispense things out of a dispenser. So this next section is going to be all the things that we want to shoot out of a dispenser. So the first and one you've probably seen a million times is to put a dispenser here, a block here, we're going to do our comparator that's going to read if there's things in here, a redstone repeater shooting out of this, and then into that block, and then simply put the dust all the way around. Now, all you got to do is anytime something comes into here, it's going to dispense it out nicely for us. Perfect. That's a super easy one. And that one is great if you just have a little bit of resources. Now, if you have something that's a little bit, if you have a little more resources, you can actually just put a dispenser on top of a block like this have a comparator running out of the back. That's going to be the key portion is you always need one of those. We're going to put a sticky piston there with an observer facing towards that. And this is the part that's going to be a little tricky. We're going to put this here and one facing there. Now you got to make sure you move that block because this needs to come up. So now when we put that in there, oh yeah, makes it shoot out. So there's two of them. Let's do, I think I have two more that we could look at. All right, the third one of these that we're gonna do is again, let's take our dispenser. We're gonna put it on the ground. 
we're gonna again take a repeater stick that out the back with a repeater out the back of that we're gonna do a repeater into the side and then just make the redstone kind of wrap around the side of that let's put our bricks in there and you'll see that shoots those right out and then one last one and you might wonder why am i showing you so many of these well a lot of times it depends where you're trying to stick them in so you might actually have like some kind of wall here where you can't put that one in or maybe your double wide wall here or maybe you need to keep it low so there's lots of different reasons for these but just wanted to make sure we show you all of them all right and then this fourth and final one is going to be a little bit longer but you can take your dispenser put a block here comparator going out the back then a repeater another block and then redstone dust all the way up until you have a block right here put some in there as well and you're gonna see it that shoots all those out so there's four ways that you can put a clock on a dispenser to shoot things out all right and now that we have all of the common ones down we're gonna do some that you may or may not ever use but they're kind of fun can't do a redstone tutorial without having a little fun so this last three that we're gonna do are just gonna be maybe occasionally you would use them but not all the time so the first one we're gonna do here is put a block here with a pressure plate on top we're gonna take some glass we're gonna come around and just build out a little side on this actually before I do that I'm gonna put an extra block here and put a dispenser right here and then let's put on that last piece of glass and then what's pretty cool is we can just put a comparator running out of any of these sides and I'll put a little redstone dust so we can see what happens here we're gonna put in however many we want to here a button on whichever side you want and what this is going to do is shoot out one item and that's going to give us a redstone signal now you might say well what would I ever use this for but if instead of doing an etho hopper clock where you have to put lots of blocks in and maybe you know you want five minutes blocks will actually disappear after five minutes so let's pretend we've waited five minutes and that block disappears that turns off so perfect for if you ever need a five minute timer you can pop that out and you got a five minute clock cool now the next one is maybe going to really get into the same thing but maybe be even more kind of crazy so we're going to put two blocks down here a pressure plate again we're going to put some glass on either side of this i'm going to temporarily put a piece of glass there so we can get these sides in and we're going to put that in again we're going to take our comparator it's going to go out of any side that we want out of this we'll do it out of the back again and run a redstone signal now this is where it's going to get crazy so this time we're going to get a chicken spawn egg and spawn a chicken in here let's make sure we block this so as you can see when the chicken's on that pressure plate it's on when it steps off it's off so this is going to be your super random clock so if you need something to simply maybe turn on turn off this is your guy it's going to be super random it won't go on and off at the same time every time because it all depends on where that chicken wants to go so it might be really close sometimes or he's just going to stay there i was hoping he'd demonstrate it even more for us but there's a silly one for you all right so we got that chicken one done now we're going to go for the one that maybe you have went down into the caves you found an abandoned mine shaft and you have a whole bunch of rails well, one of the cool things that you can actually do is take those rails and put them to use so i'm going to just make a simple circle here with a detector rail i put my powered rails we're going to power that and then from here and i need some redstone dust we're going to pull a signal off of this. So what's great about this is if I get this minecart going, we can do a simple clock. Maybe a little on the loud side, but there you go. 
there is one if you have just a whole bunch of rails and not enough redstone you can still make a clock so as you can see there are lots of different ways that you can have fun with this it doesn't always have to be one of these serious clocks you can do something a little more goofy and try and do something fun all right now as a look into probably way too many minecraft clocks but it gives you a big overview of all the different kinds of clocks that you can put in your world to really do anything you want to anytime you need a clock to turn something on or off or maybe you just want to be goofy and have a chicken turning things on and off in your friend's base so that random things happen there are a lot of different clocks that you can use so thanks for watching this tutorial and make sure you check out my chromaticraft where a lot of these clocks are going to be used in some way in there as we build out different redstone in converting our world into grayscale so go check out that series and again thanks for watching we'll talk to you soon